Hey guys, so in today's video, where as you can tell by the title, I got my packages today. Really one package, but I bought two because I have problems. Um, but y'all know what a black box means, right? And I'm going to open both of them just to make sure, y'all know I don't ever take that off, that they are okay. What I will say is that she, uh, or the company, packages her things very well. Very well. So, I don't ever really foresee damages, but you always have to check. So, with that being said, I purchased the uh, Mothership Mega Palette. I will not be purchasing anything else from her. Maybe, maybe for a while, unless she has a sale. Um, the, I haven't, I, I don't have, I have a, a mini palette, which is, you know, the sparkly red, um, <clears throat> the sparkly red case, but I don't have any more palettes from her. When I tell you the, I mean, this, they are not playing about making sure that you get your items, okay? Now, if you are confused about who I'm talking about, no, you're not. I said Mothership. I did. I did. Well, if you don't know who that is and what the Mothership palette is, it is Pat McGrath's. This is her holiday collection. It is supposed to be limited, and it has... 18 shades in it um this is not like her standard packaging it, um they is also said that the pan size sizes are smaller as well i don't have packs over here to compare but i will get it uh get a palette and maybe the other mothership palettes as well I know I heard something um, to compare, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So y'all give me one moment. Okay, we're back. So I opened it. It is just a cardboard box. So this box, I'm pretty positive I am not. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. Let me let me not lie. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I don't have it upside down, but this is just a cardboard box which is actually the rest of her packaging the only difference is is um it's just the eyeshadow itself um the packaging is different so these are cardboard packaging as well it's just different the designs on these i believe are just stunning stunning like, that design is cute, too, but it, it has nothing on these packaging here. Um, now, that is my personal opinion, um, but that's how I feel. So, okay. The thing is also, um, if you are new to Pat McGrath, then this is a brand new palette to you like it is to me. Now, they it's said that there was a launch for, oh gosh, Star Wars. And there were two different palettes. And the six on this side is for one palette. And uh, y'all know my little hands. The six on this side is from the other palette, and the six in the middle are different or new. Um, also, with this one, with it being cardboard, um, and they just, they just, as you see, they just slapped it on, on both of them. They both look just like this. Like, they really just slapped it on to try to hurry up and put something out there. Um, I'll be completely honest. And I, I know I might get flat for this, but 
it, it was it, it feels like it's just it was rushed you know what i mean it's little details that make a difference and bad enough this is just slapped on here but you might not be able to tell but I mean, you can see the marks here and here there's a scratch in this one this one back here almost looks like a fingerprint on it which i mean i'm gonna still use it and keep this regardless was it that and this one here I haven't touched it yet. I haven't touched it yet. Um, so, that kind of sucks. It sucks. Um, I wish a little more care was put into this. Um, it, it is a holiday. It's for the holiday um, launch. And for me, I, I wouldn't mind getting it a little later if that meant that it would have been sent a little better. I do appreciate the packaging and her making sure that it is packaged, secured completely because it, it comes in here, which as you see, I know it is bubble wrapped, but it also comes in that big box that I showed um, as well as tissue paper underneath, thick tissue paper. Like they layered it to make sure on the underneath and on top. So I do appreciate that. But I just wish that this was just more clean, especially with it being a black um, casing, because it really does look like it, it, it's already been used. And I don't I don't like that at all. Um, let me open the other one to show you what it looks like. That one is just, you know, thrown on, but a lot better, a lot better. And this one is a lot better also. This one does look like it was swiped a little bit and probably, you know, just being put in and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but this one for the most part is better than um, the one that I'm going to keep. So hey it happens it happens so i don't know if i want to have the attitude because i mean these things do mean something but you know on the back it has the names of the palettes which are actually secured on the back of here which is very different as well from her other palettes the other palettes have a card as well but it's not secured to anything it's just in the bottom of the box so i keep the whole packaging on this one um on the the other ones now once again if you are new to this and this is a new palette to you then all of these will be new colors to you i don't know if there's repeats and colors in here because i don't have all of her palettes but i do know that these six here well lies lies i don't know if the the six in the middle are repeats i believe these are supposed to be all new but the three on this side the six on this side lower and the six on this side are um repeats because like i said before they are star Wars palettes so i haven't seen what the star Wars palettes look like but i'm sure if you google it or look it up on <laughs> um youtube you can see what they actually look like the outside of it looks like because the colors exactly are supposedly the same i also do like what i do like is that with this here that they have the ribbons on this on the side to keep it open i do like that but um from another youtuber you do have to that i that i've watched you do have to be careful because it is ribbon and this is paper cardboard if you are not careful it's easy to take this off or it to come undone and then it kind of just defeats the purpose of having them and to keep it open so that is a thing to make sure or be careful about um y'all know i am not big on swatches i just i really am not because y'all know swatches do not tell you really anything it doesn't tell you how it's going to work on the eye blendability or anything like that um, there are three, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 shimmer glitters sparkly sheets because I, I know that all of them have different um, ingredients so they're all not just shimmer there's like satin shimmer and some other things that she does with her palettes but for glittery looks there are 15 and there's three actual matte looks with this palette um, which can be good or bad but I'm pretty sure you can use other palettes with this one. Like you can do with most palettes. Um, so. We're going to look at the other Mothership palettes. If I can get them open. Because this, this is technically part of the Mothership. Well, all her stuff is Mothership. Y'all don't judge me, okay? But what I will say is that this is pink like these are. The, um, what is this? Divine Rose. So these are, this one I guess is in the family of the Divine Rose because it has Divinity on it. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Y'all don't come for me. So we have this one here. And then we're going to, y'all don't do this to me. Okay, seven. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, two. Divine Rose, one. Which is this one here, which is seven. Now, as you can see, the pan sizes are smaller. And this palette here than it is in this palette here which to me does not does not bother me um, because I have a lot of eyeshadows so I'm pretty positive that I will not hit pan um, what I also see is that these two shades here and I don't know if you can really see it that it, that really does look more so of a white I'm looking color but these two here have a different texture actually these four and it doesn't seem like those four textures are in this palette here the newest one um which could be price wise because i'm pretty sure to make these four palettes not the palettes but colors um takes a different set of ingredients to make and it's probably more expensive um just my opinion but what i will say is that it is not in this palette here so here is divine rules two in this palette here once again the eyeshadows are different in size which is fine her original palettes are $125. This Christmas selection is $78. Then you have the Mothership 6 eyeshadow palette, which, come on, is cardboard packaging like this one. And I'm trying to be really careful so I don't break this poor thing. But that is what it looks like. Those are the differences here. And it looks like these are similar colors. Like a, like a, a few similar colors as in here. So, but they're all on a pink purple basis, which is fine with me. Because I know those are my two colors. But those are those two. And those four are for the divinity section or divine rule section. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with section. <laughs> stick with section. Y'all don't come to me and tell y'all. Now, the other two that I have is going to be um, Mothership Decadence, which is number four. And I also have, put you back in here. Which one is this? number six which is midnight sun so the mothership decadence is 
this one here, which as you can tell, really is just the opposite uh, of, <clears throat> of this one here. But this is still beautiful. All her palettes actually, to me, are stunning and beautiful. And then, what's this one, Midnight Sun? is this one here next to this one here so you can see side by sides on her palettes you can see that the one that's for $125 each are 10 palettes with bigger pan sizes and the quality as you can see in some of these are going to be different I don't want to say quality let me not say quality um, as you can see, the shades and the texture of the shades are some are going to be different from what you receive in the $78 palette when you get 15 sizes, 15 shadows. Um, as you see, this one has three different types as well that is not going to be in that one as also. I have not used this palette yet. I'm going to have to. Um, so yes, that is it. I'm going to do an eye look. I will have to take everything off my face and come back. Um, and do an eye look with this palette, but I am excited for this palette. I really am excited for this palette and, um, I can't wait to play in it. I really can't wait. So I will be back with a clear eye with nothing on it. All right. Okay, guys. So I know we said we're not going to do swatches, but we are, um, this is the eye look from the palette. Uh, one eye look. This eye look on my right side, maybe your left. Who knows? But on this side here is the actual palette by itself. And if you do not know, this is the new Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial uh, Divinity Palette. And then I used, I don't know why you're open, um, on this eye I used the uh, Celestial Divinity Palette in conjunction with the Mothership 7 Palette, which is the, what is this, Midnight Sun Palette. So we can use um, transition color, other matte colors, because this palette only has 15, lies, 18 shades, but three mattes. Okay, which I'm pretty sure you know that by now. In this video but we're just kind of doing we're doing certain things we're just doing different little things different little things different little things and inserts put together um okay so like i said i wasn't going to but i'm actually am i actually am so we're going to do swatches on this palette and i guess before this you sh you should have seen these side by side, um, the actual Mothership palettes, not Mothership palettes, the Divine uh, palettes that um, she did before this one, as well as the other two that I have in my collection. I do not have every Pat McGrath palette that is out there, but I did do side by sides um, for the ones that I have in my collection. So with that being said, let's get started. So. Let me, don't do that. Okay. Did I mess you up and ain't even use you? Okay. We put this over here so we can get the names. Okay. So we're going to start first row. This is Saturnalia. Ooh, that is beautiful. And then we have Bronze Nebula. When I tell y'all her formulations are really pretty and soft and just beautiful. And then we have Major Mahogany. And then we have Lunar Champagne. Y'all, my dominant fingers. Now, Luna Champagne, don't do that because when I was trying to use you with a brush, you wasn't cooperating. 
it must have been the actual brush that I was using, which wasn't a good one to pick it up. But that is Lunar Champagne, which is beautiful. Then we have Violet Boy. And then Gold Standard. And I'm trying to make sure I have enough room for all of them, guys. Let's try Gold Standard again. Double swatch. This is really pretty. Really pretty. Let's do the oop, Violet Void again, too. Jeez. Okay, so this is the first row. Now, starting with the second, it is going to be Venomous Boy. Which is the second matte in this palette. Now, one swatch is good, though. So, that's the second matte. Then we have Odyssey. Then we have Fuchsia Shock, because I was going to say stock, but Fuchsia Shock. <laughs> Y'all look, look, look. And then see, for me, it gets bunched up with my hairs, because I am a hairy person. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Then we have Megabyte. <laughs> this Megabyte, which is beautiful green. Bronze. And Electron. which is, as you can see, it is a dual chrome color, which is a beautiful. Her formulation is just bomb. She, she her formulation is bomb. And I, ain't, I can't even front with you guys. Her formulation is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over as much as I can so we can do this side. Uh, down to the last row, we have Cosmic, and we have Smoked Amethyst. I was tempted to use that one today. And then we have Dragonfly, which is another dual chrome color. Where's she at? Okay. Then we have Venusian, Venusian Orchid, or Orchid, however you pronounce it. No, nope, we already did that one. We already did that one. Okay. okay. Once again, Venusian Orchid. I hope I'm saying that right, okay? Which is the last uh, matte in the shade, in the palette. And then we have Galactic Gold. Lord and corruption. Yeah, put a lot. 
And this one actually is a dual chrome color as well. Because I know I see a bronziness in it as a, along with the burgundy purplish color. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So from what I have gathered, there are three. Four dual chromes in here because you have this one here is that dual I'm not gonna say that this is dual well it might be there's a purple and a greenish in there okay shit so there's a glitter in there that is a different color y'all know me and my articulation is off a lot of times but that's dual right there because you there's two different colors in it. I'm, I'm not crazy. And then this one here. Oh, no, we got three. No, that one is dual chrome too. It's like a green and a silver and it, not green and a gold. Y'all, y'all not going to make me think I'm crazy. I know that one is right there because you can see both of them. And then you have this one here. Well, my last one, this one here. Shoot, that one too. Man, stop it, I say. Stop it, I say. Stop it, I say. Well, I will say is that they do. Y'all see that? Yeah, y'all see that? Lord. And we ain't about to put nothing back down there on our face, okay? Um. Well, I will say, what I will say is that her formulations are nice. They're beautiful. They are stunning. The blendability of these are stunning. They're like one swipe and done if you want to. Um, it blends well. It swipes on well. The quality is awesome. The quality is awesome. Hands down, the quality is awesome. Eighteen colors, seventy-eight dollars. I think it's really worth it. Really worth it. And that is it. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this palette, guys. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this palette. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this palette. I just knew, let me tell y'all something, when I saw that there was going to be 18 colors, because I guess I wasn't, don't start with me, I wasn't taking into consideration what the out the packaging was going to look like, I just knew that this was going to be around $200, 175-ish, $200. I just knew it was, especially with you getting 18 colors and her original palettes have 10 colors in it. So for me, I was super duper excited that it was $78 and I just had to have it. Um, I don't, I don't think I did side by side with this palette here, but let's do it now. Side by side, side by side. And as you know, the pots are bigger on this one than this one, which is fine um, to me. And then, of course, the price point is different. My biggest issue with this palette, which I hate to say, is the packaging for me. Um, I like it because of the price point wise, but if it was in the higher price range and this was going to be the packaging, I would have been really upset. I really would have. Um, first off, opening this, it looked like the palette was already used for, um, for two of the colors. The casing of it, it is, it just, it didn't look new. It really did it. It looked like it was used once or twice. <laughs> Or something like that. Y'all know how my nose is. It was just used once or twice. The paper was just slapped on. Like, I just hurry up, put it on, put it in the box, call it a day. And for some, for a lot, presentation means a lot. It just really does. It just really does. 
so the fact that it really did look like this was already touched and used in certain areas of it, I was not happy about. Um, I do not like the fact that I have to be careful with it. Now, I don't have a table in front of me, so I have to be careful with these ribbons on the side. Like, I like the concept of it staying up, but I hate the fact that it can't break. Now, once again, <clears throat> me, I'll glue the thing back on. I glue it back on. So, but once again, price point is fine. It's it's okay. I just have to be extra careful because I don't have a table once again to where once it sits up, all I got to do is use it and then slap it down and call it a day. I have a better chance of breaking it because I have to hold my palettes. Not really have to, but I choose to so I can stay in frame with you guys. Um, so that really, really sucks um, with it. Also, I my thing with, and this is just with all palettes that are paper palettes or cardboard palettes, it's just harder to keep clean, especially with it being cardboard paper. You only can wipe it off so much. But that is just the personal thing with all palettes. It's not just this one here. I think the design is adorable, and I think the design is cute. This is a sticker that is on here. Um... Which is okay. It doesn't even bother. It's not fingerprint wise, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's, it's easy to wipe off and clean. I do like that. Um, but that was just my biggest things with this, this palette. For the most part, I love it. I love this palette. I would purchase it again if I had a chance. If she comes out with another one like this, I will purchase it again. I will purchase it again, regardless. Um, let's be honest, most palettes, you either have to slap open or hold it open and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. But with it being like this, I just, the idea of me popping it makes me sad. Let's put that, that's, that's, the idea of me popping it makes me sad. So, yeah, but for the most part, I love this palette. The quality, as you see, is still there in her palettes. Um, I... Did not know anything about Natasha Denon. Not Natasha Denon. Well, shit, I didn't know nothing about her neither. neither. But I did not know anything about Pat McGrath. Um, when she came out with the Star Wars palettes, which are colors in here. So I did not have the opportunity to get those. And because those were limited editions as well, I am now for, uh, able to have those colors. No, it's not in Star Wars packaging. But I'm not a Star Wars fan anyway, so to me, it, it doesn't, it, it's, it, I'm not sad about it, you know. I don't think I've ever watched Star Wars um, all the way through. I, I don't, I don't. So for me, I, I'm not sad that I didn't get that opportunity, but I am happy for the packaging. But I am happy that I have the opportunity to actually have the colors that were inside of the palette itself. With that being said... Hands down, I enjoy this palette. If I had to buy it again, once again, I would buy it again. That is it, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all guys think about this palette and the quality. Do y'all see the quality in it? Would you purchase it if you had the chance to purchase it? Y'all let me know. Please do subscribe, like, and you're always welcome to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And until the next video, I will talk to you beautifully different, lovely people later. Bye, guys.